Hello and good evening traders. We are on the 3rd of May 2023. It's a Wednesday evening, 8.45 p.m. And it was a day where Nifty kind of consolidated its recent run-up with a flattish negative close, 0.32% down to end the day at little below that 18100, 18089. Um, the opening bar was a bit of a gap down on the 75 minute time frame after which it stayed range bound, a little bit of intraday volatility, nothing much. Momentum is slowing down which is very obvious and likely and that's exactly what we were talking about in yesterday's video that we are a little stretched and it's healthy that you slow down a bit. Bank Nifty was relatively better off thanks to ICICI Bank and HDFC Bank towards the later half of, uh, of the day's trade in the afternoon. The Bank Nifty bounced back. Interestingly, if you notice closely, um, Bank Nifty, especially Nifty also, uh, has not overlapped yesterday's body. If you take a look at the candlestick chart behavior, these three candlestick bodies are not overlapping each other, which is very um, close to what we know as an evening star or an island reversal kind of a pattern. It's not exactly an evening star, maybe an island reversal, but whatever it is, when these bodies do not overlap, they bring in a little bit of chance of a slowdown or correction, which means that going forward tomorrow and day after tomorrow for the rest of this week, keep a very close look at today's low. If you find the bank nifty or the nifty slipping below today's low, we can expect a couple of days of weakness. Amongst the main stocks, uh, I did find uh, Infosys stabilizing a bit after the short term bounce back. This is the bounce back and this is the stabilization. If it breaks below today's high, then Infosys can show some upside momentum tomorrow. Dixon Technologies is one stock which has gone through a fair bit of correction and now it has just given us a short term bounce back and kind of slowing down over the last two days. So. Dixon and Infosys above today's high can bring in some strength in that particular stock uh, moving ahead. Amongst the oil and gas, it is Gale which uh, gets my attention because of the shift of momentum very clearly. It did give us a sharp sell off two days back after which it is consolidating for two days. We got some divergences kicking in on the higher time frame. So it will be interesting to see if Gale breaks below today's low will it fall again back to a retest of 106, 105 or not. I sense that it's going to be a stock specific market going forward. Trade well, uh, the view is cautiously bullish, but if you get better opportunities on the short side, you might go with it, but make sure you don't hold on to your short trades for too long. Take care of yourselves. Good night.